I want to show you a scanner. I don't normally cover scanners because they aren't usually part of car tech. But this one is. This is an automotive scanner. It's scanning the car. You saw that one underneath there with all the lights and those lenses. That module from a company called UVI just did an incredible high-res scan of the underside of this Fiat 500. Now here's the guts of the system. I want one of these in my garage. This is an array of, it uh, looks like, three high-resolution cameras kind of buried down in there, and then quite an array of precisely aimed and precisely controlled LED lights, because a key part of this is to have very even illumination, so the illumination doesn't create an anomaly, right? And then you take that really excellent quality imagery and that goes into your neural deep learning AI software to make sense of what it sees. We've seen sample images where it can detect a scraped up or rusty muffler or a bit of an oil leak or they tried to fool it. They stuck a business card in one place so you can stick another sort of an object in there just to see. Does it figure it out? It's quite remarkable because the bottom of a car is actually a very ragged chaotic place with splashes of mud and different shaped objects and they're all kind of dark gray. And by the way, it is not using comparison. It's not taking a perfect image of the bottom of every car in the world and comparing it. That doesn't scale. It is starting with its own learnings on the fly to say what's normal here and what's not. It makes it very scalable very quickly. It can take a look on the sides of the car and read the tires. It can actually look at all of that black on black raised lettering and read all of it, even tell if the pressure and the tread wear are here or there. Now what about the outside of the car? The shiny part, the part we see, which can get dents and scratches and all kinds of issues. The system has another version that is like basically two arms, two halo arms that go over it and can read where there's a scratch where there might be a part missing, where there might be a dent, maybe there's a center hubcap that's not on in place. That could be used for the whole world of lease returns, of wholesale automotive auctions, of end of factory assembly line checks. Instead of having a bunch of workers sitting there saying, yeah, that gap looks about right on that panel. How about the rigidity of perfect imaging and AI to say that panel's off, by exactly this much, it needs to be adjusted. So this is a fascinating way that a whole bunch of industries that deal with automotive can get themselves into some rigor about the condition of a car and kind of get away from the clipboard and inspection world. By the way, this all started in the security business. That was UVI's first market. Buildings, stadiums, power plants, you name it, with vehicles coming and going. I want to make sure there isn't something that shouldn't be there underneath the car. It's a whole lot better than security guards running around with mirrors on the end of sticks.